waiting for that. Lion and I snuck off on the side falls and got a late before the bus left. We found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud. Get in trouble like this before. Now meet that Lonnie girl. But I don't know though. I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Passage. Mm, Lights are on too. Paper clipping, Mason's toes hand. Alright. Oh crap. Can you see this place? Got a cassette, you let her. Yolanda de Soto. Do Hector and Mary de Soto, Mrs. Samantha, one being county, or 970 USI. Okay. Dear Sam, very Spanish lesson, fly Moscow. I'm so happy you liked the drawing. It was thinking of us when I drew it. I don't remember drawing. Is there a drawing around here? No drawing around here. Huh? Oh, okay, not yet, not yet. Okay. Get this button, X respects. Sort of can and stuff. Oh, no, 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 what we got here? Nothing. Okay. Sort of can. Go away. Someone slept down here. Something under the pillow. Yep, do that. I know you'd be able to tell. You love. You'd love Mexico. I think probably. The nature here is totally different from back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost in the mystery, mysterious island where even the plants are about to get them. And then I think <clears throat> of them together out there in the wilderness together. And I think of you again. I lie here in bed and I almost feel you. In bed, I almost feel you. I've been trying to save up for when we've Together again, I've been done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, about that. Your last letter to me. I got the. Wait. Your last letter got to me the day before we started driving back north. We'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read the letter. We can read it together. And yes, I'm thinking ton. I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Lonnie. Oh, so they're dating. You gotta remember, they're dating. There's a cassette around here, I wanna say. Yep, right here. Self, Girl Scout, self. Go scout the band formerly known as Canola. Well, model authority, sequence, telling stories, industrial. First mate, self Girl scout, denial. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. Till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. I'm tall. I'm 
Anywhere else to go? Oh yeah, there's a passage down here. I'm gonna go down here because I do not feel like going in that dark room. Nope. Move on. What is this? This is where I came from. I think this is where I came from. No. What? Please no. Sorry, 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 guys. <coughs> Wipers. Had enough. This one's for you, Gloss Man. Captain Allegra. Yeah, yeah. He's running across the wrong way. Had enough. The great, good fellow, not of 95. Heard enough. Kicking against the. Goes too far. I think we're about to shoot up the place. Hmm. Woman outlaws. sometimes. Like her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti-authority. Doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is. She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. It's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it's so worth it. <clears throat> the girls on stage were just so loud and real awesome. Real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide Kind of sound. Psycho House Girl. The coolest stuff about being a Psycho House Girl, cool thing number one, everybody in the hall thinks you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral vision. It's gotta be peripheral vision. Costumes, skeletons, and devil cheerleaders from the, s the Smells Like Teen Sprint video. Sprint. One girl dressed like Jackie Kennedy. This is getting weird, man. Whoa, where am I? So that door's unlocked now. Textbook. That's Spanish. That's my mom, well, the mom's thing. Okay, there's any of the others. If you know, hey, Lana, you saw my mom is such a. Is she 
she's hardly ever around since her force is like an hour away. And when she is, she's home and takes it out on you. Like, because you're a member of the family, she knows you would won't call her on it. And I'm scared, sorry. Haha, <sighs> it's okay. I knew she's just jealous of our cool and free wheel and lifestyle. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. So I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her now husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him and her is external punishment in my mind. So wouldn't the father live, so wouldn't rather live in, so you wouldn't rather live in Florida with your mom? Take that as a no. Oh, I see no, no. <laughs> Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open-minded about things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. And what would happen if they did? You know dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever he brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. That's not creepy. Not creepy at all. Time to go down this one, I guess. Okay. No light, can't see crap, no worth it. Really wish, like, I'm right here now. I'm getting into here. Washroom, laundry, greenhouse, dining. Outside. See how outside is. We're still storming. Probably still storming. Alright, here we go. Walk through here. Walk upstairs, see where this leads me. Oh, bubble. Whoa, 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 I just noticed that. That I'm in this room. Still raining. I'll leave that open. Leave that open just in case. Walk, 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 walk. Where the light just flickered, I guess. And light. Give me all the light. <laughs> How does a light work if that happens? National ticket. Oh, wind, fire. Whoa. Hit this on. Let's see here. Got a note. Sam, the skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. I love it. Merry Christmas. Miss you, Lonnie. Pish. Step back. Nothing else in here. Open the door. What if you open? I don't know. I can hear. Uh, let's switch. 
mom's purse. Pamphlet again, and another note. I do. Got two tickets to EWF on Thursday. But my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go, so her taste in music gives its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. Rich. Linen's Kitchen. Heater. Whatever it is. It's, that's pretty much exactly what I looked at. I had an okay. interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. Yep. Do what, do what you want. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your pants think, just do what you want. It's your life. You should love it. Alright. Since you refuse to hear us out in the afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in warning so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car anytime except for going to and from school. You understand that you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are restrained, you can allow to have your bedroom. We can't allow you to have your bedroom. Door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on this matter. Get back on course so we don't have to put this up. Okay, that's mean. Just do what you, let her do what she wants. Get distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to students. Out of school superiority. And it's a complete joke, especially if they do that. Don't give up on this, honey. Can't put that back, I guess. Um, let's see. Let's go back. Oh, no, there's a door right there. One I was in. Nope. Dishes, towels. I'm hiding. <laughs> Nothing in there, I guess. Let's go down this way. No lights, but let's go. Alright, what do we got here? Probably gonna be a cassette in here. Yep. What do we got here? Blackmobile. There's Lonnie. Oh. Sam and Lonnie. Out. They had a lot of pizza. Holy crap. Creamy peanut butter. Dr. Jitters. Mm. Pizza. Mm. 
June anniversary trip. Um. All right, so now I'm called. Having received a formal appearance letter, uh, yada, 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 turn on the lights, so I need some light, I want to see, grab some, grab that, grab that, oh, something behind that, but, no. There's gotta be something behind something, and you know it. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Good job. No. Oh. I have a feeling I should look through these and just like they have a freaking code on them or something. Open door. Here we go. Okay, we got like little cabinets here. Nothing in these doors. Open dishwasher. Grab cup. Why is this one red and other other ones are white? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Invitation. Same schedule. Working on crown burger. On Beth Drive. Ba, 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 ba. More pizza. <laughs> um, anything back there, perhaps? Put the milk. More yeah. milk. More pop. Trays. Two apples. Uh, did the penis. Oh, I just want to make the beer. Oh. Oh, wait. Freezer, what do you got for me? Frozen spinach. Door. Door. Noises. Door, door, noises. Yep. Totally. Oh, I got one. What if, what if that's something special happened if you did the dishes? Uh, light, light. Uh, oh, greenhouse. Greenhouse? No, it's ain't greenhouse. Nope. Mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary June 3rd. So we will be camping in the gorge, but nothing will give you a call. But we'll give you a call on the way home. Sorry about the kid. Sorry, the kitchen is still meal renovational. Never trust the contractor. Forty dollars on the table. Two hundred pizza while we're gone. Be good. Forty dollars. I I I don't see my forty dollars. I do see a note though. Samantha and Daniel are in the woods. When the woods one day, saying that they were in an adventure, but they went to the disembodied part of the woods. And it got duck. Daniel said, Are you scarred? So Samantha said, No. Are you? They hadn't and went more into the bad part. They. <coughs> then they went wet to a part that was never there before, and there was a ship. Pirate ship. Oh, an ocean. Samantha said, "I'll be in the, I'll be the captain, and you be the first mate." Daniel said, "I'll, and I, I captain, I, I captain," and they, and they went on the pirate ship and started sailing. I'd been dreading it, but he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it, and then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, 
And I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. But for some reason, I almost believed him. Almost. <laughs> almost. Whoa, couple no. But we're out, Girl Scouts. Last show ev ever. No! Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Well, that was sad. Looks like we got the greenhouse here. That's very sad. I think Lonnie is going to somewhere. Accidental human. What is it? Pamphlet. Dog bites. Whoa, 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 booked. Oh, they're going to strong pipe pines. It's a nice place. The book. Accident. Oh my god. You and your books. I could tell you were enjoying see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for the senile seeming along the cops in the new editions, the cover art. Thank you got Terrence L. Oh, that's Greenbrier. Sweet. Some cover copy. Last night together would be our happiest ever, and we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off, then ran up to the attic to look through our photos, to find one for yeah. Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized that they were all in the past, and there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried, and she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Um, that's Satan. It's pretty much Satan. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Alright, go to the attic. She's getting sad, man. She's getting sad. Stop flickering.
Alright, let's go back there. See if there's anything I missed. Wow, that makes me actually genuinely sad. So slow though. Bye. At this way. <coughs> so to the attic. Guessing this game is almost done. Actually, guys, I'm gonna end the video here, right here. I'll be making a video right after this, and see you guys next time. And if you liked, please smash that like button, and also subscribe if you are new.